What up, what up, what up? Bankroll Tim, bet it up. Up in, up in here, up in the shop. It's hot, muggy. Anyways, we're going to Malibu. Blue Malibu. Yeah, I should have had it done. Should have had a lot of things done. But I went to the track yesterday with Big Lou and the Brown Malibu. And uh, I got to take it down the track twice. Figuring out a couple more issues with the car. So that way we can take care of that. So that way he can be show and go ready. So he can enter the shootout and all that stuff. So we got some things to change on that car. But anyways, Blue Malibu. Blue Malibu. Got the anti-roll right here. Getting ready to put in. Uh, change all the control arms. I still got the left upper to put in. And I put new bolts. I got the anti-seize right here. Every single bolt that you put in, no matter what, even your lug nuts, you use anti-seize. From now on, every single job I do, no matter what, even if I use old bolts, because sometimes bolts don't fit right. But uh, these are metric bolts, but they have a standard head. So it's a three quarter head, metric size here. So these fit the holes of the car. A G body is metric. So normally to take the bolt out is 18 mil. Uh, both sides nut and head of the bolt, but these are metrics with three quarter heads, obviously easier to make. So anti seize, boom, all bolts. So I have the lowers in, the red powder coated. I put NICs on the whole thing, got the NICs inside the aluminum. These are brand new aluminum pieces, everything that came with well, the old setup I threw out because it was garbage. Uh, it took forever to get bolts out because they wanted to be threaded into the aluminum. Again, NICs uh, would have prevented that. The car, again, has been driven for the last, you know, three years, whatever. So see stuff like this. See how that's rusty inside the hole? Yes, this is original bushing, or not original, but maybe it isn't original, but anyways, if you put the anti seize inside there, you won't have the rust build up, condensation, stuff like that. <coughs> so anti seize is a very, very good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. You can get big tubs of it like this. And just put it on every single bolt, the threads, all that. It keeps from seizing, keeps uh, things to move and not squeak. You know, when you take a car like this and you have the anti-roll, you know, it's a bearing piece right here. It's got the Teflon inside here, it's called a Heim joint. But uh, these are good ones, so they normally don't squeak. But the bolt inside here, you know, the bolt goes through or whatever. And when you tighten it all together, this is metal to this metal, you know, and these tabs go on, so if it's tied or whatever, something could move and cause a little bit of squeak. So put NICs on there, lube it up. Um, the arms right here, when you guys get these arms, sometimes you gotta test fit the hole, make sure the bolt fits in the hole, make sure the bolt fits in the car, because sometimes you might have to open the hole a little bit, run a drill bit through there, open it up. The width wise here, sometimes, they don't want to fit over the housing. This one fits this one fits right over. But sometimes these would be closed a little bit, so then you just pry them open, put them in a vise, pry it out just a little bit, just so you can get it over this. My bad. Over this. Now if you don't have vise or anything like that, what you could do is run a grinder across here and bring the bushing down. A little bit so that way this will slide right over these actually slide over real nice that side slid over real nice the adjustment is not made i'm gonna preset or reset everything i'm changing the height all that so i'll get everything set where i want it and then you know tighten everything up jam everything up boom the bar up there as you can see was already in there from years ago so i gotta clean up the areas where i'm gonna weld um, I do have enough room out here. I might have to take the shocks off the top just so I can get the welder in there to fully weld the tabs on. But uh, you can see they got the fuel filters in time to there, stuff like that. I'll move that. There's plenty of room in there. I'll mark my center on this tube and I'll mark my center on the anti-roll with a yellow marker. So that way 
you know, because I'm one person. When I hold the setup up here with the tabs bolted on, then I can tack it from the sides and I can undo the bolts and I can bring the anti-roll back out of there so the tabs will be up there. So this is the tab that goes up there. And of course, it goes on the inside up here where there's people out there doing it on the outside. It goes on the inside. So there's people out there too welding the cap to the metal or to the bracket. And that's a no-no because these do wear. You gotta keep them greased, but they do. They could wear out over time and you wanna be able to get it back off. But yes, new bolts, new spacers, anti-seize, 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 everything up. But yeah. So working on getting this one done. This one's gonna be done. Uh, there's no reason why I shouldn't have it done tonight. Um, I do have some cans of paint over there, which are a flat black. They gave me the wrong shit. I still haven't called to say that they gave me the wrong shit, but I can always stop there tomorrow before coming in. Uh, yep, even Saturday. I'll be in here working. That's what I do, work my ass off. But the Malibu, again, it would be coming off, boom. The Pontiac will be going on. I'll be tearing the front end out of that. I'll start uh, frame bracing it. Again, all the parts are for the car, are here. The Landau, I still have to finish the frame notch and all that, and I have to get more paint so that way I can paint all that. Once I get this rail totally uh, fitted, uh, welded up, I can go through and paint all the the work underneath there. But yeah, I haven't got this side all the way back in yet. But yeah, be able to paint all that, then I can hang the upper control arms in there. I could probably even hang the lowers in there. Well, definitely the uppers, get them in there. Um, and then get this car lowered down so that way I can start cutting the tubs out. Get the tubs cut out. Get the tubs fabbed, they're right there in the box. Boom. Get the wheels up on there, get the rear end fabbed up. I'm trying to get this one ready. ASAP, this is the one that has to go. It has to, I have, I've had it too long, it's gotta go. Gotta get it done. One man, one man, doing it all. I know a couple people probably noticed that LSMC out there. Um, the guy's been on me for, shit, probably seven, eight months, easy. I know there's other guys out there that's probably listening, been on me long time, this and that. This car is getting just a little bit of tub work but not a lot because it's a 24. And you guys know I can do 24s on G bodies without tubbing the back. He wants it just to be squatted down a little more in the back, obviously, and the front is too goddamn high. So that's coming down, but that's all stock suspension. So all that shit's coming off, which you see all these other boxes laying in here. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, so, but that one will be after the Pontiac. And then I have, I still have to order the gear, the posi and bearing kit and axles for the back of this one. So I need to put a wheel on the back or do the measurements. That's the wheel up there. Do the measurements so that way I can figure out the exact. Now this one is a dunk rear end, you know, original 73 dunk rear end. And the way the bracket, the backing plates for the brakes go on that, um, the bolt up on the housing is goofy. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna change it to make it a nine inch bearing, bolt in axle on the outside of the housing. So here, we'll go to this housing right here. So here's, here's a 10 bolt, 12 bolt, uh, the four bolt. So what I'll do is I'll change the ends on the rear end in this dunk behind me to a bolt-in style that takes a nine inch bearing but it would have this pattern on it so then it'd be a bolt-in axle 10 bolt like so bolt in. so this is a nine inch end bolt-in but see he already has the brake kit for the car and the brake kit is made to bolt up to a 10 bolt 12 bolt bolt up 
so the bolt pattern so i had a set of the other ones in here with the 10 bolt 12 volt bolt bolt up but nine inch bearing but i used them on i used them on somebody's rear end and then i never replaced them so, but that's just a phone call away oh yeah you know what it was on the el camino that i did for street car headquarters and i cut these off of that nine inch housing because they we're supposed to send them the housing with 10 bolt, 12 bolt ends, not nine inch ends. So I have to swap, swap those out for these. You never know when I, I might use those on a, a 10 bolt, you know, that somebody's got nine inch brakes. And then, you know, you get, you got nine inch brakes, you put that on there, you put a nine inch axle and a 10 bolt, and then you have a bolt and axle, big axle, big bearing, a uh, 10 bolt. So. A little more information i try every time to give out that information i ain't trying to hide nothing from nobody keep nothing from nobody if you can do the work yourself hey you can do the work yourself you know if you got somebody to, to show you the right way i'm not saying every single way i do it is the right way in you know certain people's eyes but um that it up custom since 2006 i've been doing it and I, it's mainly been a one-man process I mean, those that know, know, and those that don't know, do a little more research and pay a little more attention. But yeah, Malibu 26s, that, check this out. These 26s right here, what are they again? Lexani, right? I just turned the camera upside down for you guys to show you it says Lexani. <laughs> the Lexani, but these right here are the exact wheels That are right there. I'm pretty sure. When this was taken, yeah. Why is it in cars? Maybe they're not. But these, okay, never mind. These wheels came from that car. They were on that car before this car. So maybe he did when he switched it up. Or is it the same wheel? And I'm just tripping. It's the same wheel. Y'all be the judge. Boom. Right. Boom. But anyways. All right, enough of that. Boom. I'm confusing myself now, but I originally did that car on the sixes, the Monte Carlo. I'm pretty sure the wheels that came from the Monte Carlo, so maybe the ones in that picture, maybe these are a fatter lip in the back, but anyways, all right, y'all, bankroll 10, bet it up, I'm just going to be in here uh, yapping, oh, this guy wanted me to give him a video of the interior, something to do with the dash for whoever's doing the interior, because this thing's all original, so, this bit, this, this bitch clean way the dash is so i have to give him that little video uh oh it's not all original look that council <laughs> you know people would, would say stuff like that so very nice car yes it's ls swapped i'm not sure who did it as you can see he's having a little uh, little problems there we're going to take care of that. That wheel is going to be moved forward. You see that big ass gap? Move forward. Stock suspension gone. Real shit. I think the rear end is a little bit this way. But they got some spacers on there because it needs a quarter rail notch. So rail notch it. Uh, massage the tubs a little bit. And I'll get it to sit down. Somebody trimmed it. But they didn't trim it far enough obviously because it's cutting it. But the anti-roll will stop most of that. I mean, obviously, just stop that once the whole ass into the car is set right. But yes, this is a very, very clean car. I like the top. Like the canvas. I don't know how long he's working. Been working on it, but yeah, you can see that wheel on the other side. The rear end's more to the driver's side. But you can see that big ass gap. Monte Carlo's are goofy because like the wheel well like swoops back. So 
the bottom area right there you want to keep the wheel as tight as you can keep it to the front as long as your suspension only travels that little bit that it needs to um, it's not going to go forward and backwards and hit there and hit there you know you don't want it super tough but obviously wants it down a little bit more than that probably an inch more than that uh full front frame notch and full front suspension change and obviously the wheel wood brakes all the way around i know there's other shops out there getting shit in and out in and out in and out I'm, and i'm still trying to get caught up with the older stuff that needs to be caught up but i'd be but i'd be in here i'd be in here getting it all right y'all bankroll tim bet it up you know that's all i got that's all i got i gotta get to work i gotta get to bussing all right appreciate y'all remember bet it up bet it up bet it up bankroll tim and i'm out